And so I says to the guy, a slideshow? In all my years of playground acrobatics, I've learned one thing. Swing set shows are a lot more lucrative. Hi, I'm David Teclin, and you know what really strips my screws? Well, global pandemics that keep me from getting my hair cut for several months. But also, window unit air conditions. You can hear one making noise right now, even though he's out of frame. Now, window units are here to keep us cool in the heat of summer. You know what else would keep me cool in the heat of summer? Shorter hair. All right, fine, let's talk about hair, shall we? When your skin cells die, they have the human decency every time you move to go slough, 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 they're gone. Hair, when it dies, it just keeps pushing, pushing, pushing out like a snake. Hair is dead. We have snake-like chains of corpses sticking out of our skin. How is that sanitary? At least on my arm, the hair will stop after a while. But up here, it's like an energizer bunny. It just keeps growing and growing. I don't want mechanical bunnies in front of my eyes. Who designed this? They say that Adam was the first barber? Yeah. Here's a thought. Maybe God was actually a barber, and that's why he built us like this, so people with his profession would always have work. Except, of course, in global pandemics. So what's the point of all these corpses? To keep germs off our head? Fine. Let's talk about viruses. If a wolf marched in that door, took a chunk of flesh out of me, and went home to his missus with it for a nice barbecue, hey, I can get behind that, cause that wolf wants to live. Now say a virus comes at me. He lands on me, he shoots his DNA into one of my cells, and forces that cell to keep making more viruses until it explodes and they go off to find new cells. But what happens to that first virus? Well, once his DNA is gone, he's just a piece of protein. He's practically dead. What kind of hive lack of mind kamikaze germ nonsense is that? Viruses, if you want to exchange DNA, maybe you could learn from your kingdom fellows, the bacteria. They have a way of exchanging DNA without dying. It is called bacteria sex, and I cite my ninth grade biology notes as my source. Viruses, you're being ridiculous. If you cannot behave, then maybe we'll kick you out of the kingdom Monera. That's right, you can't play taxonomy games with anyone else. You'll be stuck in your own kingdom called Viralia or something. And I think the bacteria will be okay with this. Being full of a couple million myself, I'm somewhat in tune with how bacteria think. Salutations, people. Viruses cannot be reasoned with. I guess the moral of this is, let me get a haircut or I'll give you a kingdom, as long as I have sway in the scientific community, which I don't. I'm David Techman, and that really shears my sideburns. Looks like somebody just beat the Adam and Virus Coalition. <laughs>